Hello and welcome back to the Devious Den of Solar Tail, where we're approaching Legend of Keepers once more. And, uh, it's certainly getting in the spirit of things, or the spirit of yesterday anyway. I doubt these things will have, uh, touched upon our... Yeah, I doubt, I doubt, uh, that it'll... Let's go! I doubt it'll, uh, yeah. We're not dressed like that, because we're already in the game. What if... Shame. Weak. Oh, I, I had a... Sorry, I just I had a moment of, oh no, the, the update hasn't reset everything, has it? Because it's week one. Then I see I have my artifacts, my promotion, I'm like, oh right, week one, year two. Oh dear, sorry. <laughs> that, that, really, that really worried me for a moment there. Uh, let's work out. Let's try to improve our... Prove the engineer's physicality. Physicality is not a right word. Let's not think about that too much. Let's have the engineer visit an engineer for all their engineering needs. When they can't engineer their own engineering enough. Never mind. Right. Jeez, what do I even want? Because I'm... I'm not... Funnily enough, for the engineer being... All trap-focused... I sincerely don't know what traps I like to use with the engineer, you know? Like, I feel like, I feel like the, just the basic traps haven't been very, who cares, hasn't been very, um, well, how do I put it? It's just, the basic traps haven't been very impressive to me. They're the same traps as always, I, yeah, but, um, I don't think, well, I couldn't, couldn't afford you anyway. I'm sorry, my mind seems to be a bit okay with the fairies this morning. The marketing team has decided to add a resting area to our dungeons. It seemed essential to find a solution to attract seasoned adventurers more efficiently than the competition. I don't see how that attracts the seasoned adventurers more. I mean, I suppose, I mean, well... A dungeon with a rest stop. I can't wait to try this out. A dungeon with a rest stop is probably more... What's the word? Uh, right, you do fire damage. Um, honestly, I'm just trying to think what I want to do. Oh, I didn't check their morale after... Ah, darn it. Uh, I think they're fine. What do I want to do? Um, I normally use this one before them for a bit of morale. But what trap do I want to use? I could lessen their armor, because those guys use armor tactics? I guess that's why I upgraded this one anyway. Sure. Then we get to see the Grenadier, finally. That's, uh, that's good. Oh wait, I forgot to check their, their skills. You make things weaker? Ah, lots of morale. Yeah, okay. Well, you tend to do a bit of morale damage, and this is the morale team. But, well, they also do physical damage damage, which I've just weakened them to. Oh well. I feel like maybe I should use you? Anyway, how are you attacking? Air at the front, nature everywhere, air at the back. So we definitely need to have air resistance for most of our mines, which these guys can do. Not good against nature though. I'll tell you what, we'll put them in just because I don't know. It's what I always do. I kind of just want to hit this guy hard to try and get rid of him. Um, although he's all about morale, I don't know. Uh, Suit up in the middle. Broil? Good against nature, not good against nature. Uh, lots of fire potential. Hmm. How are they against fire? They're not good against fire. Okay, we'll put in broil. See how that works. Oh, yeah, what's this one do? It's, um, morale. Yeah, this is definitely not... Not a dungeon to be trying to do uh, a lot of morale on them. Well, that's for dang sure. Okay then. My hawks, which I absolutely adore. And you. Right. If we can get through him, then their physical attacks will rip through him. But again, air damage. Who's good against air? Not you. Mm. Right, I guess... Jeez, look at their incredibly low health. 
Do you have good air resistance? No. I'm definitely putting you in the middle. I feel like this one just won't even survive one of his hits. Um... I'll put you at the front just because... So in my mind you kind of tank a bit. And I guess I'll put you here mostly just to protect people. I want the other Hawk really, but I just don't think he's going to live. Ready to shoot! Yes, your amazing shooting spanner. But I've done all this before. Hmm? What's the angry face? Oh, unwavering. I suppose... Ooh, 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 ooh. Right. Right. Who's got the lowest fire resistance? The guy in the middle. There's 20% of final damage to the other heroes. So basically, I want to shoot whoever it'll hurt the most. Hmm. Ah, and I can keep shooting. I mean, I might as well just keep, just keep shooting the guy who's hurt the most by it, right? And the splash damage will hit the others. That looks that looks better. The guy in the middle is pretty pretty well hurt. Ouch! Jeez, I guess I probably this guy barely worked. Okay, loses maximum life to give self protection. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it will give them barrier, but. It feels like it'll give them barriers slowly. I just don't think we're going to live long enough. So, I'm going to go full attack. Ouch. Would they have lived? I don't know. Um. Applies demoralized. I don't know. I feel like I want to hit the guy at the back, honestly. I want rid of him. But then, I can also hit the guy in the middle with that for a little bit. I feel like I might as well hit everyone a little bit. I know they can't really be demoralized much, but... Well, that's not really what I'm doing it for. That hurt. I was kind of hoping the guy... I was kind of hoping to be more hurt. I mean, the one in the middle took a lot of damage from that big trap. Which is good. He's going to get hit a bit. Not that much, though. This is a bit of a disappointing. Okay, now what? We'll, now let's see what we can do. Um, damage, damage. I think I want to just go for the more damage to them. And they don't resist poison, and that'll help. I want to get rid of the guy in the middle. Because then that's one less person attacking us. Basically. Right, let's... Keep everyone in one piece. Ah. And burn everyone. Or hit the guy in the back. Because if I want the guy in the middle gone, let's just go for the final one. I'm pretty sure there was actually a fire-based hawk in the in the, the, the options for Bloodwing in Borderlands 1. Some people really don't like that game, but I personally quite like it. I wouldn't have said it was necessarily a good game, but it was cathartic. Okay, we've almost got the guy in the middle gone. Then the others will be slightly less of a problem. Oh! Okay. Never mind. Right, he's gonna die on his own, so let's just do as much damage to the guy at the back as we can. Make things easier on the boss, who they're definitely going to reach. One down. How's his air resistance? Not good enough. My drone is operational. I hope you are too. Say my throne is operational. I hope you are too. Is this meant to be a throne? I mean, I would love to see the engineer on like a, th you know, a massive um, me mechanical throne that, you know, just had lasers and all sorts of cool things on it. 
and just, you know, looked more epic than sitting in this little, this sad um, little mobile control station. I mean, you could at least put it on legs. All your other machines are on legs. Never mind. Um, does air damage barrier points? You resist air very, very well. So that's not going to be our option. Um, hmm. Hits everyone. Jeez, I'm actually not sure what the best uh, option is here. That one would be my normal go-to, but it's not going to work against them. Could smack them with this. I guess I could smack them with this while I have barrier. Unfortunately, burning. I can apply some. Jeez, how's my air resistance? I mean, not that great. Don't have barrier, so might as well go for some poisoning. I need rid of him. Once he's gone. I guess I could hit her with the air move. It wouldn't work very well. But it would at least be getting me a slight amount of barrier as I went. I think I should survive this, but I'm going to take a lot of damage, I think. What's that? Tiredness. Oh, good grief. They're reducing my damage. They can't reduce the damage they take from poison. I mean, not with tiredness, anyway. Okay, he's doomed. Yeah. Okay. Drop the bomb. He shouldn't survive the next round. And that one's in a position to die. There we go. Perfect. Now all I need is to face enemies that are... <laughs> Skeleton Archer has a... Okay. Well, this is going to be fun, at least. You know, we're going to get to see some of these. Which is, uh... Which is always fun. It's always fun to see a bit of that. Um, so what do I want? Do I want any of these guys? Don't get me wrong. I've used all of these before, and I like all of them. But are they befitting what I'm trying to do? Now, I do like the Skeleton Archer, actually. Um, I'm not just getting it because of the skin. I do like the Skeleton Archer because when upgraded, I always feel like they can really do a significant amount of poison. Well, let's start with the people who need to not be here. Come on. Right. Who do we have left? Uh, you're a barrier one, right? Um, you're poison. Maybe if the front team should just be team poison damage over time because I mean I'm certainly not um, I'm certainly not generally I'm going to move you here because I think they could use a tank I'm not generally speaking um, using the morale much I'm definitely going for a kill strategy the morale potentially makes them take more damage um, but so does poisoning them so maybe I should just turn the front to team poison is it too late to think about that? I don't know. Anyway, attack, supply, even more poison. That's what we want. Well, we can try making the front team like team poison, team burn, just damage over time effects. Um, because that's worked well for me before. Oh. Oh, my power can go up. Um. An employee found a strange unlabeled flask while cleaning, and is about to drink it without even checking if it's poisonous. You recognize it as an evolution elixir. Plus one level. Will you let them drink it, or will you take it for yourself? I mean... I don't really see how a skeleton can get poisoned. Anyway, go ahead. <clears throat> it would be nice to have uh, a bit of extra power. <laughs> not a chance. No, 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 no. There's a lot of things I would give up, but not that one. Um, yeah, I don't really have, um... I can't. <laughs> I can't extend it. Anyway, here we go. Back to battle. And like the fool that I most certainly am, I have once more forgotten to keep track of time. 
One of these days I will learn how to keep my episode length to something predictable. I am seeing a lot of nature resistance on that guy. Uh, very fast. Oh, stuns people while attacking, hits in the back for ridiculous damage. I, yeah, that guy's too powerful. He really is. Um, right, anyway, ice at the front, nature everywhere, air at the back. I need some air resistance at the back, but more importantly, I need someone sacrificial because they're not going to live very long. Um, let's see, he should... 35% of... Oh, good grief. A third off, roughly, of this has to be the best part of 30, but it would need to be that to make him live. I could do the math, but I don't want to. Um, it's tw oh, good grief. You know what? You're in keeping with strategy poison. You just go over there. Um, do we have anyone who... Okay, you resist ice pretty well. Maybe enough to live a few seconds? Okay, we'll put you here and... We'll shove you in the middle, I guess. What, is, what, what did Henry get when he leveled up? That's the one bad thing about that. <clears throat> you don't really get to see it. Not that happy with that team, but we'll see how it works out. I guess since we're going for poison, might as well focus on that as well, I guess. I could hit them with the ballista. Break their armor a bit. Um, these guys don't have very good armor to begin with, but that's going to run out before they get anywhere meaningful, right? Um, well, it might last up to that trap, which means he'd take more damage. Okay, let, let's let's see what this does. Um, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll see. This is the morale one, yeah, yeah. Energy converter. And then... Just looking for ice resistance and not really finding it. You need to be protected, or maybe not used, actually. I like you, but I just don't know that you're going to suit this right now. I might just go for, like, the, um... I might just go for, like, the sheer defense strategy, maybe. If they have damage over time on them... <laughs> which they probably will have lost by then, but, well, anyway. Off to a great start. Ow. Let's poison them all. I do like my poison. Yuck. It also occurs to me that I didn't double check my volume settings before I began. I'm not off to a good start today. Let's go with this. You're mostly just here to absorb damage. But, uh, sure. And absorb it, you did. Come on, give him another chance to shoot off the volleys. There we go. Not sure they've done as much damage as I would have liked, but, um... <clears throat> what can you do? Uh... Down... Okay, damage and morale... Damage dealt increased by 100% if the target is affected by demoralized. Well, they are. So, let's just use that. Sure. Hmm. I wonder if he'll come back as a skeleton. How would a how would a tree come back as a skeleton? How do a lot of the things I use come back as a skeleton? Who knows? Um, <clears throat> the physical damage should be worse off. <clears throat> I am sorry. I think I've got something in my throat today. Maybe I shouldn't be recording, but then I won't have an episode. Ah, the Grenadier. Right. Well, once more, you do not like fire. It feels like it's not doing that much splash damage, though, is it? 30 fire damage at base. I need to upgrade this thing somehow. There's got to be a way. Because, like, whatever it was, 120 damage isn't bad. Plus a little bit of splash. Not too bad. 
Oh, the armor break did last till then. That's good. Unfortunately, now they're all back up to full speed. Ow. Ow. I really want to use their wrench throw, honestly, because I know full well that that guy is not going to take it well. Should I just go full blast on attack, rather than defense? Because I know this guy will, you know... Hmm, what does this guy do again? I forget his abilities. I mean, I know, yeah, I know it's a multi-shot and uh, an area. Applies a lot of poison. Hmm. Now I remember why this strategy was something which I liked before. He can apply the damage over time while they defend. Ouch. Ouch, again. So what do I do? Do I try and defend us? And try and survive? Or do I go full, full out and try and get rid of him? Jeez, I actually don't know. Uh, his power. So that'd be 30 points for him. Less for him. And they're doing so much damage. I think I'm better just attacking, actually. Yeah, I guess. It gives them... It gives them more barrier, probably, than using that ability. Something like it, anyway. Especially when they're bashing someone who's got low armor. Yeah. At least so far, they've done a decent job of keeping the guy in the middle safe. Oh, look. Skeleton warrior. That's handy. They might actually... Um, they might actually do this. Um, I almost don't want to use uh, his wrench ability because it feels like this guy might go down on his own. Uh, no, he won't. Let's just make sure he's not gonna get in our way anymore. Thank you for putting in the overtime. <laughs> Terrible. This guy isn't very good against wrenches to the face, either. Who knew that his wrench resistance was so low? Stunned. I hate stunned. There we go. Uh, what do I want? Fire damage and burn. Well... I might not mind having one of these, but am I going to use it? I don't know, maybe. I mean, with my Grenadier, a fire-based strategy doesn't sound like a terrible idea. Okay, you need a break. You need a break. Is there anyone who isn't on break? Right, you guys, you guys are coming back. That's something. You guys are still on the level one? Really? Uh, hmm. I guess I'll put you in instead of you. I like your ability to bolster penalties, but at the same time, it's like, uh, no, I don't know. Okay, training. Who's getting trained? One of you, maybe? What does it do? Better resistances. Mm. 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 Better resistances, better health, better power. You get better in a lot of ways, so I'll do you. I'd probably be saving up for more specific monsters, though, if I'm being honest. <clears throat> I would love to hire you, but unfortunately I'm going to have to crush your dreams instead. I realize that the two things seem very far apart. Uh, demon, no thank you. I'm sure it can be good, but I mean, I've gotten things I just don't want from that before. Okay, I'll accept the thighs, but I'm going to hold on to the money because I'm pretty sure the next event will be food poisoning. Right. A champion. Like I say, I don't remember <clears throat> how long this episode's been, so I might end after the champion um, and just... If it's short, it's short.
so be it. My episodes should probably be shorter anyway, although I don't post them very often, so... I used to post them more often, of course, but... Things change. Oh, it's you. The one who stunlocks everyone who's at the back. Right. I surely hate that. Hmm. Right. We I keep getting these two guys. Ice at the front, and... Uh, what are our options? We're just good for toxicity, actually. Yeah. Okay, you resist ice a bit, you do physical damage, but also stun lock whoever you hit, so really needs to be someone who can endure a lot of stun lock. Or rather endure punches to the face for as long as humanly or non-humanly possible. I don't really have anyone who can do that. I guess maybe I'll just put you in because you'll advance a trap or something like that. Alrighty then. Who can I afford to have stun locked for eternity? None of them? Oh. That's unfortunate. Oh. How long have we had you? Fine, put you at the back to get stun locked, I guess. Anyone with ice resistance. Like, good ice resistance. Like I said, you. You guys have decent ish ice resistance, but at the same time. What am I better off going for here? could be battering her with the hawk. Or fire. Let's not forget that fire is an option. But I feel like you're actually just better. I could have gone for him, actually. Come to think of it. Yeah, actually, I am going to go for him. Because his wrench throwing could be powerful here. Then they... Ugh, gaining back 20% of their health. Oh darn. Next group of monsters as barrier points. Does that include the boss? Like, can I get myself barrier points? Uh, I didn't equip the furnace trap. This would have been a good time for it, maybe. I don't know if that works on the boss, but I might as well try. I mean, why wouldn't it work on the boss? I mean, it says group of monsters, so it doesn't say it does. But I mean, why, why not? The Master uses Barrier too. Okay, Frostbite sounds pretty good. That'll, like, take... Oh, 20% of their health off? About as much as they're gonna get back over here? Okay. Let's just try and get some more poison on them. <coughs> Right, you... Yeah, let's not worry about bounty right now. We just need to do as much damage as possible. That move of hers is very powerful. Annoyingly powerful, actually. Yeah, and whenever she kills something. She's a pain in the arse. An absolute pain in the arse. Good, I do get another chance for the Toxic Volley. I was beginning to wonder for a minute there. This lot is kind of savage. Although we've done quite a lot of damage to them so far, actually. All things considered, we've still got another five attacks, I guess. And then they get a heal, so that's less good. More poison? Yeah, let's just... Keep up the poison. I mean, I don't know if that's the best call, but I like poison damage. It's handy. Well, I don't really appreciate the being stabbed, but, uh, sure. <laughs> I just like, he just throws a wrench at someone. Like, you know. Oh, the engineer. So many vicious monsters. What horrors will they inflict upon us? I hear one of them has a big wrench he'll throw at you. <laughs> oh no! Uh, mm, removes. I don't really want to remove those effects, honestly. Ooh, more frostbite. 
Throw the wrench! Punk. I know. Might keep him alive a bit longer. Since he's the only one who gets to survive this. Oh, that's handy. Ow. Maybe we can get rid of the one at the front, that's something. How's your air resistance? Bad. That'll help us later. Assuming you get to the boss, which I think you probably will. So you get to throw a wrench at him too, so this is not going too badly. He's a champion after all. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just I find things like that just kind of funny. And now he's unlocked. Yep. Man, this one's annoying. And they heal. That's not good. Now then. Bam. I really hope that goes onto the master. <laughs> In theory, should you think? So it's gotta be here. I suppose that's the one downside of this particular trap, as opposed to some of the others. Splash damage loses its effectiveness the more, lesser than there are. Everything has been tweaked to optimal performance. <laughs> oh god, please don't tell me that I can be stunned, because that would just be sad. Okay, fortunately it doesn't seem like I can be stunlocked. That's that's something. This champion can do a lot of damage, but I think we can take them out fast. Phew. That could have gone a lot worse. Uh multi-action. Demon regeneration. Now, fire damage and fire weakness. That could be useful, considering I've got the Grenadier, right? Ah, uh, but multi-action, though. Imagine multi-action off that barrier thing, if... That, oh, sorry, that energy converter. That's just so tempting. Both of these could be handy. This is... Perhaps more guaranteed to be handy? Okay, we'll, we'll go for this one. Uh, and because I will probably forget next time, let's make sure that all of these are where they need to be. Um, I guess we'll... No, no, you... We'll have to replace that guy. Uh, we'll put Broil back in here, why not? Right, okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Traps. You out. You in. Oh, dang, I even forgot about you. And you in, too. Right, thank you. I guess we can go to the trainer, just quickly. While, uh, while which ones I want to train up are on my mind. Ugh, it's annoying that I can't train the ones that aren't in my immediate squad. That, that annoys me a bit. Let's train him, because I like him. No other reason than that. Um, should I train this guy? I guess. I mean, I do use them. Oh, and that does get him up to like five, which is actually kind of important, I think. Uh, increases that one. I don't really care about that one. Hmm. <clears throat> Gains power. All oh, right. So you get more powerful with more barrier. I really need to put you in the back team. And use you. Oh no, I used all the gold! I used all the gold from the thigh supplier. I don't want to take the random event because it might be that thing. Gee, I don't dislike you. At all. You have your uses. Honestly, I'm going to... I'm going to sell you. I need to have enough money to pay the medical fees. Oh wait, I have to do this. I have to do this. Yes. Yes. Right. You finally have some free time to tinker your advanced trap. Yes. More ammunition is tempting. More damage is tempting. What's the new passive? Applies burn. 
Whoa, wait a minute. That more than doubles the damage? Or applies one burn? Or one extra ammo? Yeah, I mean, one extra ammo is an extra 30. Extra damage is... yeah. But I'm going to have to stop here, because I've definitely gone over my time, I think. Anyway, this was fun. We finally got to use the Grenadier, and I think it's going to have the potential to be really good, though maybe I should have gotten the Demon that would have made it better. Who knows? We'll find out when I lose horribly later. Anyway, this was Silvertail. Be sure to come back if you like what you see. Remember to always pack a plan D, because here there'll be dragons.